This clip is brought to you by SaveWithConrad.com. Well, they're going to try. The next match has Richard Morton. So he's no longer Ricky Morton. Now he's a heel. He's with Alexandra York. And he's going to be pinning Mike Graham in the other light heavyweight tournament semifinale. Meltzer would say people didn't care at all about Graham and it doesn't help tournament credibility when you've got a guy that nobody has seen on television and yet he's in the semifinals. The wrestling was fine, but there wasn't much heat. It was an old school style match with lots of working and selling holds. The finish saw Graham have Morton pinned while Alexandra York distracted the ref. Morton kicked Graham off and his, uh, his face hit the turnbuckles. And as he falls back, of course, Morton schoolboys him and holds the trunks two stars. That damn schoolboy still getting it done after all this time, Jim. Yeah. Well, it, it, it's a, a workable finish when yep. uh, executed in a timely manner. It's realistic. It's, it's real. You can't, you can't lose. You can, as a shoot, you can get your shoulders pinned in a, with a cradle, uh, obviously. But again, you know, I think Ricky was miscast. He should have been back with Robert Gibson. They should have been the rock and roll. I saw Cornet here. God damn it. Son of a bitch. So I think, uh, that's what I'd have done, but you know, it's too late. It's too late. And I don't know. Maybe it was Robert hurt or something. I don't even know what the deal was there. Maybe it's over money. I'm not sure. I don't know. It's been so long ago, uh, since this occurred, Robert was not hurt. He was on some of those cards that had tickets for 54 cents, but I think he was hurt for a bit. So they tried Ricky as a single, and then they were already sort of committed. Um, we all should have been committed. Yeah. No kidding. Mike Graham. Let's talk about him for a minute. Pretty controversial figure in wrestling. Uh, pretty outspoken, pretty vocal. Uh, he's getting his shot at the big time here. He's on TV and, uh, it just doesn't really click with the audience. Do you think in an alternate universe, Mike Graham could have been a big television star? Maybe in the cruiserweights, slide heavyweights in when he was younger. But you got to understand that he got over in his dad's territory with a very objective booking, right? He got some wins. Uh, he had a legacy there. He was Eddie Graham's son. He meant something, just nothing else by his bloodline. That was not the case. Eddie Graham was not a household word to the WCW audience. Unfortunately for, you know, the smart fans and the fans that really study the game knew Eddie's contributions were enormous. He's one of the smartest guys I ever sit and talk with my entire 40 plus year career and still is this very day, but nobody knew it. The guys inside the business knew it. If you lived in Florida, you knew it outside of that you're SOL. So I think that was a problem that uh, Mike had. Mike was fundamentally sound and I could put a match together. Uh, but you know, I, it, it was wrong. Wrong place, wrong time, and it was, and, and we didn't do a good job of establishing who Mike was. He said, "Well, he's the, he's the father of the son, excuse me, of the legendary Eddie Graham." And somebody's jumping on Wikipedia to find out who the hell Eddie Graham is. Hmm. I mean, what do you think? Do you think the guys watching our show in Portland, Oregon, knew who Eddie Graham was for casual fans? I'd say no. Right. Hey, hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell so you get a notice anytime we upload some new content. And go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30-year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money. It's a matter of how much. Find out right now for free at SaveWithConrad.com.